Hi, my beautiful Pisces. What's up, you guys? Thank you guys so much for all the love that you've shown to me. Even though it's not my birthday yet. It's not my birthday yet. But happy birthday to all of you guys. I love you guys. And I just want to thank you again from the bottom of my heart, you guys. So let's get into this channel message. You guys already know that with these channel messages, they are extended readings. And I do believe they're very helpful, very insightful. You guys already know what I do. So you already know what to expect, what to look for here in these extended readings. I also give advice on how you should be coming towards that situation. Sometimes I will also pull out love messages from that specific person in that reading. So let's get into it, Pisces. If you do want to get the extended reading, just look in the description box below. Anything you need to know about the channel is in the description box below. All right. Pisces, Pisces, Pisces. Do I have any Pisces that are celebrating a birthday for February 20th? Okay. If you are part of the channel membership, don't forget to leave your birthday so that I can shout you out. All right. Pisces, what's the message? Go ahead and hit that like button. Hit that like button. Okay. We have the Ace of Wands, Pisces. We have the Ace of Wands here. Let me see. I wonder if I can change this. Okay, even better. Okay, so we have the Ace of Wands, Pisces. Let's see what else is coming out here. Okay, so Pisces, straight off the back, okay, you were dealing with uh uh you were dealing with a soulmate connection maybe in the past. So if this is gonna if this is resonating with you, you'll know if this is your story. I don't like to take a lot of um, time on these readings because I like to go deep into the extended reading. So you're dealing with the soulmate connection, but the thing is, is that this person was not showing you mutual love. They weren't showing you mutual respect. Um, they weren't respecting you. Honestly, I do feel like this is someone who's very like much, you know, um, it's weird. I don't feel like, I feel like this person may have had like a one night stand here with you or you and this person may have had a fling, something very passionate, but this person wasn't giving you any type of communication in regards to a connection, a relationship, or maybe taking something further here with you. Um, I don't see, but it's weird. This person is always trying to avoid being single from you. Like they're, I feel like in the past they were really trying to avoid, you know, you forgetting about them or they were trying to avoid some type of attachment. Um, but at the same time, still wanting to have these passion, have this passion here with you. But this is somebody who's not getting in a connection or a relationship. They're not getting in the in, in a relationship with you. And I also feel like they're not respecting the connection or it's not being reciprocated. Okay. That's really weird. Tell me more. Yeah. Wow. So there's third parties here. I feel like this person has a lot of options and choices here. So um, what you need to know is that this person seems to be confused. No, no wonder they're not getting in a relationship with you. They're not choosing to get in a relationship with you. They're not choosing to get into um, this mutual connection, this romance with you. They're not wanting to get things to be like, they don't want things to get too romantic. That's the truth. They don't want things to get too romantic here because they have other options and other choices here. So this person wants to explore other options and other choices here, okay? That's what it is. They're not ready to give up on those other connections. They're not ready to, like, put an ending to those connections, to that friendship, to another person that they were close to, to dating. It could be something like that. Like, this person, and it's so weird because they're they're also not wanting to be single from you at the same time, but then they also kind of still want to keep their options open and date around. So this person is just dating around, shopping around, looking at all their options and choices before they make an actual decision to be in a romantic relationship here with you. And in the meanwhile, it's almost like this person feels like they can also still have these um, passionate starts here with you, like these flings here with you. You know what I'm saying? So in the current moment, I do feel like this person is dealing with, um, you know, multiple people, multiple connection, maybe an ex, maybe someone, um, that they've, you know, hang around someone that they've been around or they known. Okay. Let's see. Okay. But it's not anything serious. It's not going. Okay. Honestly, these connections, these other people that they're dating, that they're checking out that they're scoping out that they're trying to figure out if you know something could really be solid with those people they're not feeling it it's like they're not having really solid opportunities here or they don't see these people as solid opportunities or uh, it's the energy of like wasting energy wasting time but I'm not seeing that those connections are going to solidify into something strong and solid here. So they're not making a decision to be in a relationship with you. But then these other groups of people, these groupies, these fans, these other women, these other men that they're entertaining, that's not 
anything solid either. Like it's it's not like they're in, they're not entertaining anything solid with those people either. Let's see, or that person. Okay. <clears throat> yeah. Okay. See this person. Wow. Pisces. This person really wants, uh, I'm telling you, they want long-term relationships. They want a long-term connection. They want something. They want a marriage. They want commitment. Um, but this is someone who's shopping around, looking at all their options and their choices, and they're not going to settle. This is just someone who's saying, I'm not going to settle. Not going to settle with my first choice, my first pick, um, the first option, the first person. They're not someone who's ready to settle down. And when I mean settle down, it's not just settling, but it's really like they're not going to settle with just anybody is what I'm hearing. So this person is saying they're not going to settle with anybody. So even if that means that they can continue to have these passion here with you, these new passion starts here with you, um, while not actually solidifying that you guys are in an actual romantic relationship, that's what they're going to do. As long as you allow it, Pisces is what I'm seeing. So I do feel like when it comes to this person, I'm not seeing this person kind of like explore these opportunities here with you more. I do feel like they are not putting a lot of energy into these opportunities. You see what I'm saying? To to kind of like flourish something here more with you, um, to make something real and solid here with you. I'm not seeing that. But what you do need to know though, the outcome of this situation is really, really... Uh, it's funny to me because I kind of really feel like they're not making a decision. They're stuck at a standstill and they're not willing to move forward here with you in a situation um, because of these things, because of these other options and other people here, right? Honestly, I've got to keep it real with you. I really feel like this, whoever this person is, they may feel like there's something better. Um, so someone is choosing to date other people because they may think that there's something better out there. This is a serial dater. This is someone who is a serial dater, right? And they're constantly looking for something um, in a connection and constantly searching for something. If they see something that they like, there's someone who like, they could see that this woman is beautiful or that this man has um, financial security or something, but it's like they need something more. Like it's never enough for them. And that's what I'm seeing. It's almost like it's never enough. But the crazy thing about it is with this 10 of pentacles and this ace of pentacles, I do feel like this person is going to have a lot of regrets in their future. And they are going to be looking at you as this person that they do want to solidify something here with. I see that this person will be wanting to, in some way, um, start something up here with you and kind of have something long-term here with you. And it's going to be your decision um, in the long run. I feel, I'm feel i seeing that you guys need to know that. I feel like in the long run, it's going to end up being your decision and not theirs. And that's what's really crazy about the outcome that I'm seeing here is that this person wasn't making a decision in the past. And I feel like after they've ran through all these options and choices and realized that those people are not anyone that, anyone that they have something that they feel like is a strong connection they're going to want to have a long-term commitment and marriage and stability here with you. And then it's going to be up to you, Pisces. It is going to be up to you if you're going to reciprocate that same emotions and feelings as this person. So we're going to go deeper into this reading. We're going to kind of kind of like pick this reading apart and see what's going on. If you are part of the Starfish membership or the Rainbow Fish membership, then go ahead and look in the description box below. It should pop up on the community tab. Go ahead and check out that extended, you guys.